Welcome friends, in this one let's take a look at finding the equation of a plane through the uh, normal vector 1, 2, 3 through the point 3, 4, 5. So the ingredients will look like this, okay? First make that uh, 3, 4, 5 into a vector. So I'm just going to call that, for example, r sub 0. So it's a given, you know, vector. It's going to be, in other words, 3, 4, 5. It just looks like this. Just use the angled brackets, for example. This is often called r sub 0. Then this other vector r is part of this process. That just stores a point like in the form x, y, z in it. Okay? Now, the formula says the following. It's going to be n, and then you're going to have to dot that with the following. You're going to do r minus this, let's say, r sub 0, that vector. And the dot product has to be equal to 0 because that says that n and that other vector there are perpendicular, okay? So then you plug into the formula. So you got to compute the pieces, in other words, okay? So let's do here first r minus r sub 0 this way. Let's compute that. So when we do that, it's going to be x minus 3, like this, x minus 3 in that position. Then it's going to be y minus 4, so y minus 4 in this position. And the last one will be z minus 5, so z minus 5 in this position. Angle bracket. That's going to form the dot product. So you're going to do, do this vector. So you're going to do the dot 1 with this part here. So it's going to be 1 times x minus 3, okay? Plus, then you're going to take the 2 and you're going to multiply by that component. So it becomes 2 times y minus 4. And then it becomes, you know, this here, so plus 3 times the z minus 5. And that's equal to 0 like this. And then you take it from here, so you're going to, now you're going to distribute the 1, the 2, and the 3. So it's going to be x minus 3 plus 2y minus, let's see, that's 8. Okay, and then the last one here, it's going to be plus 3z minus 15, and the whole thing is equal to 0, and then you work through this, so it's going to be an x from here, a 2y from here, right, and then a 3z from here, and on the right side you're going to have 3, plus 8, and then plus 15, so move all the terms to one side, anyway, at the end you have x plus 2y, plus 3z, that's a plus here, and the whole thing then is equal to 26, and that's the equation of the plane. Thank you so much for watching, please leave a like, please subscribe, I will see you in another video.